Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for round one. All seven riders of Division 2 are now ready. We hit the X button and we steal ourselves as battle is about to commence. It is but a cross. Oh, it looks like a few riders were really rapid off the line. Who's it going to be to take the whole shot? Into turn one, our pole person has gone terribly wide there, or at least uh, didn't quite go as planned as Cotterax. Is down to the bottom places. In fact, he's improved as Perk. Oh, Potato! Oh, he's caused a collision! Absolutely clattered into the side of the Yamaha. And it's all going to kick off again, isn't it? Lack goes for the inside line. Not quite good enough to make the move stick. And exactly what I mentioned earlier with Lat, you've got to be so careful there. You can't bring on the power too early into the Musée corner. Oh, Apex just picked up. Eight, oh, <laughs> that will be looked at, ladies and gentlemen. It definitely looked like there. Contact was made from the Yamaha into the side of the VR46 to Catty. That is a nightmare for the pole man. Nine lap race here in Le Mans is certainly underway. Beautiful tie apex. <laughs> really closing into the rear of the Ducati. Of the uh, Aprilia, apologies. Just know it's uh, Sharky on the Ducati. Is uh, not too far away here. I have no idea what it's trying. Oh my god, Apex again! With an incredibly aggressive move up this time. As he Rob is on the receiving end. I think Lat is going to be pretty cheesed off with how this st race started. And of course, that important fourth position is not important as third. Good for the championship when things aren't going too well. But that doesn't get you a position into Division 1 for the race in about, what, 30, 20 minutes? So the gap to Apex... <laughs> what a way to join there. As we check out the rev uh, counter for Apex 59. Downshifting all the way to second for the right-hander. Azzy Rob in pursuit. Only one person can win this Grand Prix, but the three of them can join Division 1. So it's not all about just binning it and trying to take victory in Round 1. <sighs> Azzy Rob closing in dramatically, but he's very smartly tried to avoid hitting him there. But that's twice he's gone deep into the Shimano buff, causing him a loss of time by about a second. Yeah, he's closing in quickly on the Ducati rider. I mean, you're going to close in even quicker if you cut the apex like that. And Cotterax has uh, been given a three-second penalty here for not complying with the long lap penalty rules. Oh, Lat. You're, oh, you're way off. Oh, and it's down. So a quick look at Sharky here and Lat. Now, Sharky has had a lead over Lat for quite a while, but it is going pear-shaped. And in fact, he's off the circuit, cleverly removed himself from the scene of the conflict, and then returned back on the circuit. Oh, you love to see it. I love to see that. Okay, he knows he's made a mistake. It's dangerous to regain onto the circuit and try and battle again. Very smartly done from the number 76. If I could remove a penalty for that, I would. 1.5 is the gap to Azzy Rob. Yeah, I think Apex might have broken the resolve of the rider in second. Now, I don't want to sound like a stuck record, but I have a saying for those riders who lose the second gap to the guys in front, and that is, my friends... You break the resolve of the rider in second when you pull one second advantage upon them. And I think that's exactly what Apex has done to Azzy Rob. And also, as being a player in this game before, I've done it many times in career mode as well, you guys have probably seen the videos. When you're on your fourth track limit warning, it, you have to be careful. And I imagine that's what Azzy's doing right now. Not taking the mick, not pushing beyond the limits, just trying to get this race finished with and take home the 20 championship points. Of course, if anyone else uh, enjoys the content, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And if you subscribe whilst you're watching the stream, it will pop up on the screen. But Azzy Rob has done this beautifully here today. A little bit aggressive to get the top spot, but I can understand why. He's done absolutely excellent, and he will be the first victor in MotoGP 24's Ace Academy Championship. Only two more corners to go then for the number 59. Here we go. Into the right-hander, onto the power. Apex 59, victorious. Round one of Le Mans. Azzy Rob in second. And Lat finishes in third.
place. Here comes the Sharky then. Two more corners to go for him. Whoa, really aggressively on the right hand side as Potato closed in quite quickly as he completely abuses the corners in the final part. So then, though is the results on screen. I don't think I've got to change anything, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to confirm the results and hit F12 for the big save. So, ladies and gentlemen, round one of the Ace Academy MotoGP 24 Championship is underway for Division 1. Now, does anyone use the ride height device? Meerkat did. Very interesting. Is that... Oh, Charlie did as well. He must have seen that on the clip there and decided to go with it as well. But here we go then. Waiting for the red lights to disappear. Meerkat from Paul. Round one of the Mons. And away we go. Jelan, I think, jumped the start. Oh, he was my pick. But Jelan, looks like he jumped the start. And will therefore have to do a long lap penalty. Jake takes the whole shot. Oh, DCP went down heavily with contact with Apex as Ozzy Rob sends it up on the inside there, cutting Apex his left, right and centre as Meerkat gets sent across the circuit. And this is kicking off. Jake, the man who got the thumbnail on her, he's in the lead. What's it all going on behind though? Poor oh, Ryder's down there. It's got uh, Absolute Dan who's gone down with long lap penalties popping up on the screen, left, right and centre. My goodness, this is a messy start here in Division 1. It is a sprint race for a reason, isn't it? As Jake got the dream start. Didn't go for his patented rear brakes uh, squash into Garage Vert. Trying to keep the front end down of the Yamaha YZR M1. He's doing it for now. But for how much longer can he keep that pace up? Jelana closing in rapidly. But don't forget, he will have to take a front, uh, front row seat to the long lap penalty. Charlie will also have to do the same. Only Jake... Only Jake is the rider who did not receive a warning on that first lap. Calm and collected goes the young man from the south of England. Nicely done there for Jelana. Steady on the power for the Trackhouse Aprilia Racing Team. Behind him it looks to be a bit of a gap, so he might be able to do that uh, long lap penalty without too much commotion. Where's Meerkat then? He has risen back up to third place. And kind of as we suspected here, your top five, Jake, Jelana, Meerkat, Charlie and Quesadilla all running together. We did see earlier that the long lap penalty sort of... Oh, the Division 2 champion went down in his debut in Division 1 and Azzy Robs met him in the long lap penalty loop. <laughs> that is just unfortunate. I don't think there was any foul play there. I just think that was unfortunate. Jelan has had a pop at Jake. I think only Ryan who didn't have a long lap penalty before it started was Jelana. I felt that when he accelerated off the line, then it popped up. But I could be completely wrong. <laughs> oh, Jelana is taking the long lap penalty loop. Good time to be in the helicopter pen uh, camera angle, actually. So he... Very, very well done there, to be honest. He come back out of there from second to fourth. That's a bloody good effort for Jelana. Looking at the front then, Jake's got a bit of a lead now. A second lead to Meerkat, who is currently the fastest man on circuit. Quesadilla is cooking, you say. What is he making? I haven't had my tea yet, so I'll take whatever he's making. But he's a bit far away, but Jakey's gone down! Jakey's binned it! Pressure is surmounted, and he's gone down. Oh, he's just... Gifted Meerkat the 12 points. How could he do it? Now, I haven't had a chance to look behind us, but look at the gap behind. Eight seconds to Desmo. We've got a terrific five-way battle here, which is quickly diminishing into just three. Charlie's got second place covered, but he has got a three-second penalty, which would mean he's going to finish in fifth at the very best. Oh, Jake. Really abused the limits there. I watched that live. Is Jake going for a lunge there? Ooh, that's an aggressive lunge into Jelana. He's going to feel the effects there, but thankfully, the both riders <laughs> stayed on board. Can we get a view with uh, Jelana now as he tries to go back over the inside? I'm sure he does. Ooh, it's going to get close. Give me that front wheel. Just can't quite see. Here we go. Oh, rapidly downshifting goes Jake. He's gone wide. He's still, he's still on board, though. <laughs> wow. 
This one's been a good one so far. Just lying on the brakes. Oh, Jake is pushing it. Now he's going to cut the apex. But if he's not careful, he's going to have to drop a position. He's... Is he one? Two track limit warnings away from a penalty here, so he's got to be really careful. Here comes Lana. Oh, oh, what a move from Jake. But he ran it deep. So he's got to go back to the Portuguese rider. Back again to Jake. Wow. And then surely, Lana's going to go for it again. This is terrific racing. This is what we envisioned. Envisioned. Oh, I can't say it. With uh, when we started this Ace Academy Championship in MotoGP 24. But look at that. <laughs> Really pushing to the limits a pair of them, but what they're doing is just making so much hard work for themselves. They're battling, they're, they're pushing to the limits, they're picking up track limit warnings, and they're letting Charlie get away. <laughs> Shlana now goes through again. What a fantastic battle we're seeing between these two. Two titans of the Ace Academy coming together as <laughs> Jake backs it into Musée again. Incredible. Now, they have closed in on Charlie here by eight tenths of a second. That does not bode well for the number 66. Oh, Jelan has binned it! Another one who's gone down under pressure. It's over for Jelana. Wow. The last lap has ended in turmoil for Jelana. Now, the most important part about that is that Charlie is going to receive a three second penalty here and therefore will not finish on the podium. He was going to finish in fifth if Jelana didn't blow it. Wow. So, well, we're going to take a look at Sacred Meerkat as he goes into the penultimate corner now. What a performance. He got battered in the first bit, but he has retaliated and recovered to finish in first place. Charlie finished in second and Jake... Wow, what a fight. He does finish in third with Casey finishing fourth, who will then gain the position on the podium after Charlie takes his three-second penalty. Ooh, Quesadilla and Jelana both had penalties, so that means that Charlie will maintain his podium position. Well, <laughs> well, I did not see that coming. Casey must have had that on the last lap or something. Well, I've got no penalties to give, so I'm saving that. So this is round one of the Ace Academy Championship Sprint was not 5, 10, 15 minutes ago. Now it is time for the featured race. 25 points up for grabs. Who's gonna pinch it? Is it gonna be the man from Norfolk? Is it gonna be the man from Portugal? Or the man from down south? Ladies and gentlemen, we wait. Red lights to go out. And away we go. Let battle commence. Oh, that must have jumped the shot. It's an immediate times two penalty. For the VR46 Pertamina Enduro Team Rider. Wow, Meerkat went round the outside. That is bravery personified as Jake very aggressively trying to squeeze through in a few riders there. Someone got punted there by one of the Ducatis. And Azzy Rob went down into the first corner as well. Tough start. Oh, has Jake got caught? Oh, Meerkat's gone down. That's the classic rear tyre touch. If you get touched on the rear tyre there, it just drops. As somehow, Charlie's found his way to the top and Jakey went down. What is going on here? And Desmo up to second place. Brilliant for the factory Ducati rider. As we are getting penalties flashing up on the screen. Left, right and centre is Desmo. Oh my god. That is what you call wide. Get him a ticket to get back on the circuits. Be careful rejoining the circuit. Oh, Jesus Christ. It looked like he was going to bump someone going into that corner there. Apex is up to third. Look at that. The man on the test livery Yamaha is up to third. The winner of the first race in round one for the Division 2. Uh, Division two. That's unbelievable. Absolute Dan's up to fourth place as he cuts the corner. Ah, well, if Sacred Meerkat's going to do something about this one, he's going to have to do it now. He's got a lot of work to do with Casey on the precipice of dispossessing the man in first place. What can he do from here? Casey last victorious in what? Was it Phillip Island? I can't remember, but he was victorious at one point in, uh, in, in MotoGP23's Ace Academy Championship. Is he going to do it again here today? Is Charlie going to get that first win? Charlie's not done much practice here, to be honest. Ooh, here comes Casey. 
Has he run it deep? He hasn't. Oh, Charlie gave him a big hit there. Goodness me. How would you like your racing? <laughs> like that. Wow, that was a heavy hit. I don't think Charlie meant that. I think he gave him some space, actually, once Quesadilla got through safely. So you can't fault that from the man in second place. Stay on board with Charlie, and here he goes. In the slipstream. In fact, there's a certain person we have to take a look at in a moment. And that's Sacred Meerkat. He's closed right in on the rear of the Division One, uh, Division 2 winner of race 1. And then he's going to be two and a half seconds, three seconds behind this duo at the front. It would have benefited him so much more if the game didn't mess around with the 50% race distance. If you didn't know what the problem is, basically the fuel just disappears no matter what you do. So, yeah, there's not a lot they can do. Oh, Casey's run it deep. And is he gone? Is he down? Oh, he didn't, but he has succumbed to the pressure. Doing it all for Pierre and Mobility Group as Apex absolutely clatters Meerkat. Oh, the pair of them are off the circuit. He's going to be absolutely livid with that. As that is under investigation, that was quite the hit from Apex. He's certainly aggressive, isn't he? He loves to launch it when he can. As Calvin, teammate to the rider on screen with right now, has just gone down. But behind him is Lana. He's going to try and get through on Apex now. A little bit deep. Careful not to pick up a, a track limit warning. This is another battle behind. Is it uh, Desmo and Jake? They are carving their way through, aren't they? Lass has been given a three-second penalty for not complying with the long lap. Jake, does he try and go around the outside? Oh, not quite. That's an aggressive move, though. Seeing a lot of aggression from our riders here, especially our championship protagonists. Oh, that's a beautiful move. That's going to stick. I don't think it will. It's probably not... But it's going to be close. Oh, Azzy Rob's gone down. The Division 2 rider. Ooh, Jake. Really taking liberties there, but Desmo fights back again. Like Desmo, Dobby himself. Brilliant scenes here, but I imagine Jake's going to be really strong. Oh, contact! Really rubbing each other there into the right-hander of Garage Vet. And Desmo gives it him back. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is going to be enraging, Jake, though. Because every single moment where they fight, they lose time. Oh, and again, aggressive going into Shimano Buff. And he's completely cut the apex. I'm going to have to look into that. That was... That wasn't slowing down. To, yeah, he's got a complete long lap penalty there. I mean, if you're going to cut the corner, I guess go full throttle. But, I mean, that's a penalty. You've got to at least try and slow down. <laughs> Christ almighty to Charlie, who's still leading very comfortably, may I add, at seven tenths of a second. The gap has come down, but it's keeping Quesadier honest. I think Charlie ran it a bit deep there, did he? he wait, that looked like a bit of a glitch, but it's okay. <laughs> still good. Still on your bullet full send. <laughs> I like to see it, Thomas Lab. Oh, Casey's gone wide again. He has got to be careful when he pushes so much like that, he runs it a little bit deep. I don't think it's his uh, choice to go that deep into that corner. They are both one track limit warning away from a long lap penalty. And that would just fall straight into the hands of the Norfolk Nightmare. He's coming, and so is Lana. Lana's not giving this one up either. You'd love to see it. Casey here is a fancy rider. I totally agree with you, Thomas Love. One of my favourites on the grid, actually. I really like Casey. Great personality, always chilled, always laid back. Proper good lad. Sacred Meerkat's fastest man on track. It's a 1.4 second gap now. From third to second. I don't think Meerkat's pulling in enough time though, but don't forget, if these two riders just once abuse track limits, it's an instant long lap penalty. Thus meaning Meerkat will take the lead. These two have got to be really careful now. Another tenth gone into the first split. Meerkat is on a charge here. He said he sometimes gets bored of our Ace Academy Championships because he's always winning, but this time it's looking like he's having to work hard. So we'll see how he gets on. He, he's, I've noticed a few times he's rubber banded on the circuit. And his riding style is completely weird now. <laughs> Really leaning on the bike. 
Oh, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare for the others, Jack Miller. <laughs> Goon riding here in MotoGP 24. Yes, Idem. Yes. Oh, here comes Casey then. That was a costly error from Charlie, and I think Casey's got him here into La Chapelle. He certainly has. That's a clean, concise overtake, but Charlie tries to get it back over the inside. These two are both clean riders. I mean, he's clearly got a problem to be leaning on the bike like that. <laughs> Ooh, steady lads. Oh, Jelana and Desma went down together, but not on the same bit of the track. <laughs> That's so weird. Charlie tries to fight back. Careful of touching tyres, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Charlie's just took the apex. He's got a long lap penalty. And all that fannying around now means that Mirka is seven tenths of a second away from catching up to these two. Oh, Calvin's been given a long lap penalty. I'm afraid I can't look away from this battle here. I know there's a lot of other riders behind, but this one right now requires full attention. What? is gonna go on here. This is the, s the end of lap seven. Thus commencing the penultimate lap. Has Meerkat left it too late? Has there been too much action going on? Can we do it? <laughs> here we go. Charlie, does he think about a lunge? Not yet. Meerkat sees desperate to get through now. Charlie's really taking liberties with those track limit warnings. I guess he's already got the long lap penalty now. It's all about just attacking. And here comes attacking number one. It's Meerkat. The number 93 back again for a Doctor Ace Championship. As this is it. On the penultimate lap, he clears Charlie. No disrespect to Meerkat, but I am rooting for Casey. It's been ages since Casey tasted victory at the top step. I don't believe he won one in Division... One in Ace Academy Cup and MotoGP 23. I feel like he might have done it at the end, but I don't remember. Me and him had a coming together when his game glitched and <laughs> he killed me in Catalonia, which was our final round. And here we go into Shimano Borf. Yeah, Meerkat's looking promising here. What's going to happen then? Charlie's got another track limit warning. We're on board with the sacred one. I made a typo on his graphic that said scared Meerkat. I don't think he's scared now. This could be a sacred lunge. Not into the penultimate corner. He's thought he'd done it. He's certainly gone for it. Into Recordamon. But Casey Tia holds firm. Yes, Casey. This is what we needed. Content for the aces. Jake fastest man on track. Jelana failed to comply. Oh, Casey's off the circuit. Two riders don't go well into turn one, apparently. Or to turn two, should I say. In fact, he didn't lose too much time, as a matter of fact. I think Meerkat might have given him that space back. But into the right-hander, they've got to be careful that they don't touch tyres. If they touch tyres, usually it's game over. Jakey's getting lots of penalties here. Is he taking the mick? <laughs> oh, here comes Meerkat into the Musée corner. He is absolutely killing it. Oh, look at this. Side by side. Here they come into Garage Vert. Meerkat goes for the lunge. Got to be careful here, because if they touch tyres in that corner, it's over. No, oh, in case he's got a long lap penalty. It's done. Or oh, has it? Charlie's still not giving this one up. Oh, and Jake's rage quit. It's over. Meerkat goes for the lunge again on Casey. Pushes him off the circuit. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, Casey's off the circuit. It's really kicking off here. Idem says Casey pulled a stoner. <laughs> In fact, I don't know if Charlie did have a long lap penalty then because it's still not come up saying he's failed to uh, comply with it. So it looks like Meerkat's going to go back to back then. Charlie should finish in second with Casey Deer in third. But well, what a battle. The first featured race and Meerkat wins after crashing into La Chapelle on the first corner and the first lap. Apex holds on to fifth place, which is absolutely terrific. He might have to be in Division 1 from now on. What a race. Good job for Apex. DCP finishes 6th. Wiggly Boy 7th. Desmo takes 8th. And Azzy Rob takes 9th place. Uh, Lat will be finishing in 10th, I imagine. And DJ Land Rover, of course, absolute Dan, will wheelie across the line to complete today's race. What a battle.
That was simply magnificent. I very much enjoy that. I don't think I've got any penalties to give. Concerned to see so many penalties, actually, but uh, it is what it is. Those penalties will be added up on now, but Charlie finishes in second. And uh, Casey finishes in third, so I guess not doing the long lap penalty paid off for Charlie then, did it? As we get a triple British podium here in the French GP of Le Mans. Well, that was tough. That was absolutely tough. <laughs> yeah, good point, Liam, actually. He got knocked off, didn't he, into uh, La Chapelle, did Meerkat? Terrific race. So that's uh, your results of the 11 that finished, and of course Jake DNF'd. So that's a, that's a damn shame for him, actually, because if he didn't, he could have finished at least in 5th or 6th and picked up some valuable championship points for the Ace Academy Championship of 2024. Thank you so much for watching this stream. I certainly hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to check out my content for the rest of the week. But that is it from me. Big thanks to everyone who joined us today. And I'll see you in the next stream. Guys, like and subscribe. Ciao for now. Oh hi! Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.